So what happens when somebody comes to your home trying to sell you electricity? Well, some of you in the Boston area say that's happening and you feel misled. Linda from Southie went to our Curiosity website to ask, who are these people from Just Energy who are ringing doorbells in my neighborhood saying they're from the electric company? Well, as David Wade found out, Just Energy has a troubled past. You felt a little deceived. I did feel deceived. I think they're going into neighborhoods and trying to con people. Mark Reardon from Brighton and Laura McDonough from Southie. Neither mincing words about a company called Just Energy after salesmen came knocking on both their doors. And there was a gentleman there saying he was from my energy company, my electric company. I thought he was from NSTAR. They both thought the salesmen were from NSTAR because that's their electric company. And they both say the men at the door didn't dissuade them from that belief. These people never said who they were working for. The men were working for Just Energy. It's an independent power supplier. Just Energy has been selling green electricity in Massachusetts for about a year. And his whole pitch was, I'm going to help you with the environment, maybe save you some money. Yes. Just Energy is licensed by the state to sell electricity. If you sign up, you're making a five-year commitment. And rates can change every month. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Laura sent the salesman packing. Then she read the pamphlet that he left behind and realized he wasn't from NSTAR. She promptly Googled Just Energy. Laura learned that Just Energy has faced allegations of deceptive practices in several states. We found actions taken against the company by the attorneys general in New York and Illinois, as well as the Public Utility Commission in Texas and the Ohio Consumers Council. Just Energy paid hefty settlements in each case, including a million dollars in Illinois. Their past raises significant questions. David Collada heads a watchdog group in Chicago that has monitored Just Energy for several years. The vast majority of the complaints that we've received have been about misleading marketing and consumers feeling that, uh, uh, that, that, that they weren't told the, the whole truth. Just Energy wouldn't talk to us on camera, but a statement that admitted to some past problems says our current operating practices are designed to reduce and eliminate unauthorized sales statements or actions. But the Reardons say the company has a lot more work to do. I had no idea that there was another electric company <laughs> in the area. Mark's father, Dick Reardon, signed the contract, still thinking it was NSTAR. He says he didn't understand the five-year deal and that the salesman didn't tell him how much more he'd be paying for green power. I think they're coming into your neighborhood under false pretenses. The Reardons are canceling, but they feel Just Energy is stringing them along. I'm David Wade, WBZ News. Now, the Massachusetts Attorney General's office says it's received a handful of complaints about Just Energy and that the company has so far been responsive. We want to know what you're curious about, and you can let us know at cbsboston.com slash curious.